Okay, everyone, we're back right now. And as you can see, I have done one of the roses. And I did that because I haven't done a rose in oils in about three years. And I wanted to figure out how I wanted to lay it out in the colors and how I wanted to teach it to you. So that rose is done. And we're going to do a yellow rose here. And I have... A magenta rose that's going to go up in the corner there that we'll start on next but while I was looking at this painting um, this is the next morning I realized that I wanted more darks in there and I I wanted leaves in there so I wanted more color uh, just having uh, the little wildflowers spread out that sort of thing it just wasn't enough contrast so what i did was i came back in and i put in all of these leaves i've got one two three four five and six i'm going to show you how to do one right down here and I'm just using a permanent sap green that I have and we're doing an overstroke almost all the time when I do roses I usually do the overstroke when I'm working in oils uh, if I'm doing roses or poppies or whatever otherwise I might use a filbert to put in some other flower petals for the leaves I also like an overstroke on the leaves so the only thing I did was come in and add the leaves. Now one thing that I did do when I added these leaves, I uh, came in and I just kind of outlined it. And then I came in with a Q-tip, just a regular Q-tip. You can see I used the other end there. And I came in like I would sketch in where I want this one, like that. And I can see a little line there. You might be able to see that on camera too. Just a little line. And I cleared out all of the oil paint that is underneath there. Because I, I want it to stick to the canvas. I don't want it to slide around. So I got rid of all the under paint on all of these. And then I came back in. And I'm just using a little flat here. Again, this is a Dorothy Dent. This is a number eight. And I picked up some color. I just used the regular permanent sap green that I had here. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in a little bit of linseed oil. Not the fast dry, just the regular water soluble. Pick a little bit of that green up. I'm going to put some of that green right here on the back part of this leaf. I'm just kind of pity patting it there. Then I'm going to take my brush and wipe that off. I usually like to keep a paper towel in my hand over here and I wipe my brush off when I want to go into another color and I want to dirty brush it. So the next color, I'm going to add a little bit of yellow, maybe on the end here. I'm blocking in the color. That's all I'm doing. Just budding that right next to that green. Now I can wipe the brush off again. And if I wanted it even darker up here in the back here, I could add a little bit of the French ultramarine blue right back in that recessed corner back there. Now I can go ahead and take the brush and I can use a looser paint and I can just go ahead and pick up a little bit of paint with a little linseed oil in it. You want it not runny but you want it loose enough to where you can come back, put your vein in, like that, come back, and just do a loose overstroke. Now by your palette, you want your palette, when you do 
a, a loose stroke you want it to where you can see through see your color through on the palette see here's here's the paint right here that's how dark it is but when I added a little of a linseed oil I made it looser so that it becomes transparent not runny just looser okay and I'll just touch on this outside edge here and I pull in now if I need a darker edge then I go right into the heavier mix of the green and I can put on a little edge okay so touch and pull in like that wipe your brush off you're going to go into another color I might want to go into some yellow now as you keep layering on top you want your paint a little thicker so it'll leave a nice little edge okay so I'm going to come back put my vein in now I'm going to add some veins that are over here I think this adds to just adds a little interest to your leaves is all to put a little vein in okay so that is how I would do a leaf now once this sets up a little bit you can come back in with a little more linseed oil just linseed oil on your brush and if you want these edges to be a little more transparent I did that on the rose petals on the outside especially you can come back as long as it's wet under there you can do that okay so I'm just going to wipe my brush off now we're going to um, do this rose next so then the other thing that I did I took a little liner brush it's not really a liner it's more like a, a spotter brush uh, it's one of Bob Ross wildlife brushes took that and I made some little vines and I did that with burnt umber and a little bit of the French blue and I just rolled my brush some as I started pulling the twigs out so I put twigs all over in here and I might put berries on it I don't know what I'll do I have to think about it but right now um, I want us to go ahead and start on this rose and I have a pretty magenta color uh, this color right here and I have a lizard and crimson so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in the light color first right there and I'm gonna use see on see how I have a light color right here in the bowl of this rose here why well, did that with a wipeout uh, technique also but when I was laying it in I still uh, put that in real light so I'm just going to dip into some white here and I just want that to be real real light right here I want you to see where it is so that you can put it in it's going to be right in here just the center of that bowl okay just put it in light all right now the next thing I want to do is we're going to dip into we're going to put our darks in now for the darks I am using alizarin just straight alizarin we'll see if that's going to be dark enough I'm going to put some alizarin right in the bottom of this center part I want a lizard right along the bowl here because I'm going to have some petals out this way I'm blocking in color that's all I'm doing right now just kind of walking it around and I'll walk it right up here 
Now when you sketch in, I can go back and I can sketch in, and that's what I'll do next, is go ahead and come in so that you kind of know where I'm going with this. Okay, so here we are, here, doing some outside petals, and I'm using a little linseed oil. And some of this rinse, what I'm using. For the inside petals, that's why you need your pattern so that you have something to look at. Now for the inside petals, of course I'm going to have one up here, that's why I left that blank, and as we come around I might have a couple of them fall in there, but I need to put our petal color on the rest of this. So let me set this down. I think I can still reach that color. I'm going to wipe my brush off with the dark. Okay, I'm going to pick up the uh, magenta. I want this loose. So here we go with filling this in loose. I want it kind of rough and I just butt it right next to that alizarin. Look what a pretty color that is. Wow. It's almost like a tuneberry if you're doing acrylics. It's going to be real pretty. Now see, some places I get a true color and other places I'm going to pick up some of that green that is underneath it, which is fine. Oops, went into the loser in there. I'm just kind of chop blending that color on. Gotta have some color on there. Now at this point, if you want to, you can go ahead and we can go ahead and do the outside petals and then I can come in and do these so everybody doesn't get lost here. Okay, I'm going to blot my brush off. Now see, I still have a dirty brush. Now I'm not going to use this brush to do the, the overlaying petals. I am going to pick up my half inch and I want to dip it in a little bit of linseed oil and I'm just dressing it dressing it on the palette here like I showed you before working that linseed oil in and I want to pick up I think if I pick up a little white let's try this I'm not quite for sure because I haven't used this color so we're just we're just winging it here to see. I don't think I want pure white though, so I'm gonna let me see what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of mixing in a lighter magenta, and again, I want it loose like that. There we go, transparent. Okay, my brush is loaded up, and when I come to reload, I'm going in that same pile. All right, let's let's go. Let's go ahead and do a little petal here. All right, we're going to start. I usually like to start in the center and just kind of pull down. I'll tilt this so that you can see it. Now, each I'm going to move this over here. Each time that I pull down I'm going to wipe off my brush and take off that excess paint because it's going to pick up the dark. See and I want it to be lighter. So here we go. So we're going to do like a 45 degree angle 
Wipe my brush off on the back side, reload. Okay, I'm going out past, out past that petal. Okay, wipe the brush off again. Wipe off that back edge there because it will pick up whatever color you pull it into. Okay, there's one. Now let's do another petal here. Touch outside where you have your petal. Now well, I want you to see what happens if I don't wipe that edge off and I come back in. See how dark that is? So you have to have to wipe it off almost every time that you um, do a stroke. That's just <laughs> the nature of it. Okay, here we go. Let's do another 45 degree angle. Okay, there's a cute little edge. I didn't wipe the brush off, but I can come back and re reapply that if I want to. Okay, I'm wiping the brush. I'm going into straight white right now because it's it's turning it a little bit of pink. Okay. This one, touch and pull, wipe the back edge, reload, touch and pull, wipe that back edge. Oh, my phone's saying something. Okay. load a little bit of oil and we're going to work our way around this little petal here let's come out about right there okay I'm going to pull up wipe the back edge Whee, that's a little bit lighter than I want I don't really want want it white weight. I think I might be stuck with white weight. Okay, now see how transparent that is? I like that because it makes it look so real. Okay, wipe the brush off. Reload. Let's see, let's have this one come around like this. So, up, up. Okay. Whee! Too bright. Too bright. See, that's what happens when you... Now I have a little bit of that green coming through. Isn't that pretty? See some of that green? That took it right down to the canvas there. A little more oil. I'm still working in this little little pile right here. It's not really white. It's turned kind of a light, light pink. Okay, so here we have this one. Now I want this to be really transparent over right here gee but all these phones and everything ringing okay so see how transparent that is over right over here And if you want these to be a little more transparent, you would just go into straight linseed oil into the little pile here. And you could go ahead and uh, do your petal. Now I'm going to pick up my other brush that I was using. I'm going to set this aside just for a minute. Now I'm going to load up with color. Just straight magenta right here. 
and we're going to put in our magenta in here. Now, I will take off this color. before I go over the front of it. Okay, we want a petal right in here and we want a petal right here. Okay, and that's the center part. Now what I might do is pick up a little bit of this French Ultramarine and add a little bit of that right smack in the center. So I have a little bit deeper color. Because I'm going to add some more petals in here. Okay. And let me wipe the brush. Put this down. And I can take this and fan it out. Like that. Be careful because it will take all your dark off. Oh, you can't even see that. My goodness. Okay. Just fan it out like that. Alright. Wipe this brush off and set it aside. I will be using the other brush. Now, I think I'm going to take out a little bit of this color. That way you can see See how I take out color down to the bare canvas. You can hear it going on the, on the bare canvas because I want this real light. I want this cup real, real light to press a little harder to get it down to that bare canvas a little more. There we go. Okay, and I just throw that away. So next we're going to come in and do some petals here. We've got a couple of them in the back there. Okay, I'm picking up a little bit of my wine. I'm going to go into the linseed oil, pick up a little bit of this loose white. It's more of a really, really light pink. Okay, need to put this so that you can see it. Let's see. Okay, go in the center. Make more than that. So let's go in the center. And then kind of sit on the edge of that brush. Hang on. Gotta get a paper towel over here so I can blot off. Okay, another one. Three little strokes there. Okay, there we go. Now let's pop this down a little bit. Three, four, okay. All right, a little more oil. Now let's come in and do a few more petals down here. So if I want this to wrap around, I'm just going to, I'm putting in a line here so that you can see where I'm going with this. And then it goes right into the center there. Okay. So I'm going to pick up some paint. I'm going to start with, I usually like to start with a petal that goes into the center there and the, these other ones are just going to be short ones just going to be little short strokes okay start with this one here go uh, into it's like a half c stroke okay these are going to be real short strokes these are actually this one's actually going behind so you have to have to do just a little short stroke 
on those. Okay, now this one is part of this petal. Now I'm going to go under here and I'm going to actually do a few more little ones. Like there's some little ones back there too. Okay, it's going to fall over. Here's a little sharp edge. Now this time I am going into the straight white. Now when I start coming around up into here, I like to just add a little, uh, little edging. So I touch the brush on a chisel and then I sit on it and then I pull back up into a chisel edge. Now once I have that on there, I'm going to set this brush aside and I'll pick up this liner that I have here and I'll take a little bit of that magenta. I'll just run some magenta right underneath that stroke so that it will show up. And I'll feather out that back edge here. Okay, set that brush down. And I'll pick up, not the big one, but I'll pick up this other one. Just kind of want to feather out that edge a little bit. Just work it in a little bit, okay. All right, that's all I need to do on that. And then we can come back in with a few other little strokes so that it appears that there is some other little petals coming up here. Now that's a little too, a little too white. and we can do another one and you can have them crisscross any way you want to okay All right. okay and that one could be the front of that one right there now, let's get this one a little more defined here. We go, and this one, drop that one just a little bit more. Okay, and then we'll put the put the centers on whenever whenever it tacks up a little little bit here. Okay, so that's that rose. Okay, I hope you learned a little bit on this rose. So now we're going to move down into this rose right here, which is the yellow one. And I am going to use... Let me wipe the brush off. I've got pinks. Again, I'm just going to dirty brush this. I'm not going to... I've got to take the paper towel off here. Sorry. Sorry for the noise. I use these blue shop towels because they're thick enough to where you can tear them in half and then fold it over and wipe your brush on it and it's not going to go through to your fingers. So that's why I use the, the shop towels for everything. So here, let's turn our canvas. And we are going to do the same thing. I'm going to set that right there so I can wipe my brush. In fact, I'm going to put it under my mouse pad here so it doesn't move. Now for this rose, I am going to use 
Let me go ahead and put some white in like I did before. I hope that I don't cover it up this time. <laughs> I good. Ooh, pretty, kind of pinky. So now let's go into our darker yellow ochre. Again, I need to get some oil on that. I need it to where it's transparent. Okay, I'm going to work off of this little pad here. So let's do yellow ochre in the center. Now I'm going to add some alizarin a little bit later. Now as I'm sketching in here, let's see. Trying to see my pattern here. I'm going to go out past the pattern. Oops, no, I don't want to go that way. Let's go that way. And we can come in this way. There. And then, of course, we have the bowl. There's the bowl of the flower, the teacup. Okay, and we have a few petals right in here. All right, everybody. Let's go ahead and block in with the yellow ochre right up here along the edge, the bottom edge of all of these. Now, my canvas is a little dry because using the water-soluble linseed oil, it sets up. Uh, a little bit faster because I applied this a thin coat of the linseed oil this morning and it's this afternoon so did dry up uh, pretty fast actually more than it would if this was oil so it might be good if you want that quick dry time now I'm going to add a little bit of alizarin to the center here. Okay, and just pop it up a little bit. And maybe I can add a little bit of alizarin right here. Okay, wipe the brush off. Now pick up some yellow, some pretty yellow. I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to get some linseed oil. Ooh, I got some other colors in there too. You can let's see, move this out so you can see what I'm doing here. See, I've got a little bit of uh, lizard in it. It's going to come out. I don't know what color is going to come out. <laughs> That's the fun part of working with oils. If you have a dirty brush. All right, so let's go ahead and block in our yellow. Now see, that's coming out. Let's wipe this brush down a little bit more. I want a little more yellow. Let's try to keep that a little separated there. See, I'm trying to get a little, little brighter yellow there. Don't look good. That's all I'm doing here. There we go. Okay. Just chop, blend it in. not worried about what it looks like. We will come back over with our petals. I like it to have different colors in it. Let's get a little more brighter yellow in there. There we go. Ah, going right back over my stems there, huh? Oh well. Okay, there's the yellow. I'm going to pick this up. Alright, lay that brush aside. Let's pick up our half inch. I think it might have a little pink in it, but that's okay. Okay, and I'm going to go into where that yellow was with a little white. 
and a dirty brush and linseed oil. All right, remember we have to wipe our brush off after each stroke. So I'm gonna start at the top here. I'm gonna touch and pull, touch and pull, touch, pull. Remember, your petal is in an arch. So you want to make sure you keep that petal in an arch. You don't want it going straight across. Okay. You want it rounded like a seashell. So you have to lean your brush so that you get that. You have to have to lean your brush when you pull your stroke in so that you get that shape, that shell shape. And you'll learn that as the more roses that you do. You know, it's not it's not magic. Um, you have to practice doing this. It's well worth it. I have some acrylic painters who who uh, do this stroke with their acrylics. We use a slow dry in our acrylics and they do quite well doing their poppies and different different things. So it's the same thing as what I'm doing here. same technique. So my floral painters who do florals in the acrylics, they can also do this painting. Okay, so there's all the outside petals. Now I'm going to set this aside. And I'm going to come in with my other brush. I'm going to pick up some yellow. Let's see if we can get a little bit brighter yellow in here. Now oh, wants to go to the other color, the Elizabeth. <laughs> now I'm going to come here and I'm going to put a little of the yellow into the white that I have here. Yellow keeps turning pink on me. That's okay, I can come back and take some of that out of the center because this will be wet for quite a while. All right, so there I have our little moon shape. So let's go ahead and Set this small brush aside, pick up our half inch brush. Now we want to come back in with, I'm going to try to get a little more yellowy. <laughs> Doesn't want to. Okay, pick up one and see the oil. Remember, you want it kind of loose. Want your paint really loose. You can tell on your palette when you run your brush on your palette. If it feels like it's pulling with you, it's too tacky. You don't want the tacky. Okay, let's do a center petal here. Now I like that color. Okay. There we go. Just doing an edging on this. Okay, now come into the center a little bit more. I'm using the corner of the brush right now. That corner, I'm not even touching it with uh, the full part of the brush. Now remember we have to make a little diamond. Come down here and this will go right to the center. That's our side petals. So here, come down into the center right there. These are the ones that are going to go this way. Okay. Grab some more yellow. 
again. Just getting my brush ready. I'll pick up a little more oil. Okay, I usually like to do this one right here so I can pull it right in. And then come to a chisel. Touch and pull. These strokes back here are going to be real, real small. Not going to have hardly any strokes at all. This one here. Get the correct angle. Here we go. This little C stroke. Remember, these are going to be not quite, just a little edge there is all we're wanting on that. We don't need the fullness, a whole complete stroke, just a little edge there. So it looks like it's going back into that corner. Okay, now I need a little edging on that. So let's put a little edge on that. So, wee, okay. <laughs> a little more than I wanted, but that's okay. It's okay. I can go for that. All right, I'm going to flip this one up. We're going to do this one flipped up. So we start right here. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up like this. I'm going to hook it to this right there. Okay. All right, here we go. So here, go down. Here, touch. Now let's swing this around. And that one will come in the front there. I'm going to edge this a little bit more. So Sometimes, um, once your petal's set up for, you know, a little bit, when you go, go do another area or something, you come back, you have a little more control. It's not quite as slick, and you can get some really pretty little petals coming off of there. Ooh. Okay, so now what I want to do is add a few little petals. Okay, we got this one flipping up. I want a better edge on that. See if we can get a better edge. Here we go. Now what I can do is let this set up overnight and come back and edge those two there. Now on the front here, maybe we want it to look like we have a little petal up front too. I can, I want to connect these two. There we go. Okay, does that one look okay? Now, I could always add another little petal there. I just don't know if I want to or not. It's one of those situations where you might want to sit on it and <laughs> look at it. I do that quite a bit. There we go. Let's see this petal here. Let's bring this more. Okay, a little edge, just a little edge there will sometimes look like it's another little petal. Let's bring another little petal right here. Come down just a little bit more. Okay, here. Okay. This one, I definitely want it to overlap that rose there. Okay, I think that one's pretty much done. What is this? Right here. I don't know what that is, but we're going to take it off. Okay, and pinch your brush out. Look how much paint I had on that. See? That's why you want to pinch it a little bit. Now, the only other thing that I need to do to these roses would be to put a few little centers in. And I do want some yellow. But I don't want straight yellow. I want a little bit of white with that. So I'm just picking up a little bit of yellow and white on the corner of that brush there. 
Let's go down to some of these here. I'm just dabbing in. Dab, dab, dab. That's all I'm doing. We're just going to dab in. Dab and lift. Okay, wipe the brush off. If it gets too messy, come back. There we go. Yeah, that is going to show up. I might want more of a white on this one. Yeah. For it to show up. Alright, let's turn this around the correct way that it's supposed to go. There we go. Okay, that turned out a pretty yellow. It has all kinds of little colors in it. It's not real, real bright and in your face type of yellow, which I like. Okay, I'm looking at this and I'm not for sure if I will add some little berries on this I could I think it might look really cute but if I do add let's see if I do add little berries I think I might want to I would do those with a QT that I got one right here and let's see what color would I put I could add a few of these I don't know if I have enough, too much pink on here. You know, I think I'd like to add a little bit. Remember this gold color we had? This real pretty gold color. Yeah, let's just see if I put a little. What if I put a little gold berry? And let's try it. Touch it. Twist, and it didn't come off. Let's put a little oil on that. Okay, try it again. Let's see here. Here I got one. Oops, pushed too hard and went right into the canvas. It's kind of a pretty color. Let's see, I gotta, gotta go into the oil here because you don't want it just straight. Okay. It's not coming off paint's too thick. Need more oil. I'm about out of oil in this little area here. Little jar. Touch and twist. Touch and twist. I think this would be a beautiful, that's a pretty color. I like this color. It's the, it's the dark color. Let's see. Can you guys see that? Let's pull this up. I'm just touching and twisting. That's all I'm doing. I think these are kind of cute on there. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll add a few of these little berries. Here I have the little little branches. Come on, this cotton ball is soaking up all my oil. <laughs> here when I disappear I just am grabbing some more some more paint here a few of them over here and a few of them down here okay everybody what do you think Think this might be something that you would like to do how fun so anyway I'll put a little more with this and see how many of these little berries I want to put in there we go see that kind of just adds adds another little bit of color to it okay so there's your completed painting I hope you enjoyed this and it was a lot of fun for me because I haven't done oils in about three years so I enjoyed piddling and playing with all these 
pretty colors that I have here and remember my cleanup is going to be easy I am just going to wash all these brushes in the water with the Dawn and then I will come back with the master hand soap that I have this uh, let me get this for you once once you've washed them in the water with the Dawn blotted them come back with master's hand soap and wash them in this and just rinse them off with water soap and water and that will cut all the, the grime and the grease along with the dawn in there will do that also I do not use any kind of solvent or thinner when I'm cleaning the brushes with the water soluble oils and that's what I like about the cleanup is you don't have to use that solvent you can you can just use uh, your water so thank you for joining me for this uh, video and make sure that you like push the like button the thumbs up also share it with your painting friends that might paint in oils but they might want to learn water soluble oils also uh, go ahead and subscribe that way you know when I have a video coming out now when you subscribe make sure you click the little down arrow next to subscribe and click all if you don't do that then you won't get any notifications when I have a new video coming out that you might want to watch all right everyone take care thank you bless you and until next time I'll see you then. Bye for now.